an astronaut and the chief astronaut instructor here at Virgin Galactic, and I was honored to carry little tiny piece of everyone's heart with me into space when I performed the first test of our customer cabin. I was very, very eager to perform this test to make sure that the company could succeed and you all could go to space. And so I tightened up my straps right before release. And I felt a free fall, like a drop tower at amusement park. And time seemed to go slower for a little while, maybe because I was really eager for the rocket motor to light. Fire, fire. It feels comfortable. It feels like a strong pressure, but it comes on slowly and smooth. But you definitely feel pushed back in your seat. And you have a sense that you're starting to go pretty fast. Then the pilot started to turn us towards space. I had expected the inertial forces to be the dominant sensory input during this gamma turn. And in actuality, they weren't. Outside my window, the sky had gone purple. And the sound and feel and sight like nothing I'd ever seen before. So I came out of that gamma turn, and I certainly knew that I was headed to space. I could hear the pilots calling and creaking mock numbers, and I literally said, we're doing it, we're going up. At Rocket Motor Cutoff, there was no lurch. I didn't lurch forward in my straps. And it's a common misnomer. There's no feeling of suddenly being lifted. Your arms don't suddenly float up. Your hair doesn't suddenly float up and get in the face. It won't hit. Uh, it's really actually far more gentle and quiet and calm than any of the Hollywood movies would lead you to believe. The first time you turn and get up out of your seat a little bit and look out the window when you're in space, of course the first thing that caught my eye was the curve of the earth. And then I had to go about my test. I tested the way to getting out of seats. I tested the handrails. And then ultimately made my way forward in the cabin, just behind our pilot, completely weightless, not touching anything, hands up, head up, hair up, feet up, and that moment around Apogee is just something. So I was coasting to a stop and able to look out at the earth. And it feels timeless and it soaks into your soul. The sky space is just this deep, deep, endless black. And then the most compelling thing is the earth below you. The vista below you is, is unreal. Beneath me was just this bright, bright, high definition earth like in all her glory, Mother Earth. Pictures do not do it justice, and I believe everywhere you fly, there will be something magic about the Earth, and here in New Mexico, you're gonna have the whole diamond because white sand is white next to the runway. And I think it's amazing that you are stopped and still, and your body has a chance to slow down, and you get this Forgive me, God's view of Mother Earth. That stuck in my soul. It's going to stick in everyone's soul. It's amazing. It's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I cannot wait for Richard and everyone to experience this and let it soak in and let it do good.